Good morning. Morning. Good morning. As we come together today for this Eucharistic celebration, we are celebrating the feast of dedication of the Lateran Basilica. Mm -hmm. That we continue to pray that church grows and increasingly becomes a visible sign and a symbol of unity, oneness, and peace. The name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ and love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. As we come together to celebrate this sacred mystery, let us call to mind our sins and ask for pardon and forgiveness from God. Jesus, you are the Savior of the world. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You continue to invite us to live in unity and be a sign of unity in the world. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who were pleased to call your church the bride, grant that the people that serves your name may revere you, love you, and follow you, and may be led by you to attain your promises in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. <clears throat> the angel brought me back to the entrance of the temple, and I saw water flowing out from beneath the threshold of the temple toward the east, for the facade of the temple was toward the east. The water flowed down from the southern side of the temple south of the altar. He led me outside by the north gate and around to the outer gate facing the where I saw water trickling from the southern side. He said to me, This water flows into the eastern district down upon the Arabah and empties into the sea, the salt water, which it makes fresh. Wherever the river flows, every sort of living creature that can multiply shall live, and there shall be abundant fish. And wherever this water comes, the sea shall be made fresh. Along both banks of the river, fruit trees of every kind shall grow. Their leaves shall not fade, nor their fruit fail. Every month they shall bear fresh fruit, for they shall be watered by the flow from the sanctuary. Their fruit shall serve for food, and their leaves for medicine. The word of the Lord. I see the God. The response. The waters of the river gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. The, the waters of the river gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in distress. Therefore, we fear not, though the earth be shaken, and mountains plunge into the depths of the sea. The waters of the river that in the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. There is a stream whose runlets gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. God is in its midst, it shall not be disturbed. God will help her at the break of dawn. The waters of the river that in the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. 
The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. Come, behold the deeds of the Lord, the astounding things he has wrought on you. Lord, the Lord is that we love right in the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! I have chosen and consecrated this house, says the Lord, that my name may be there forever. Hallelujah! 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory be to you. Since the Passover of the Jews was near, Jesus went up to Jerusalem. He found in the temple area those who sold oxen, sheep, and goats, as well as money changers seated there. He made a whip out of cords and drove them all out of the temple area with the sheep and the oxen and spilled the coins of the money changers, and overturned the tables. And to those who sold the dolls, he said, Take these out of here, and stop making my father's house a marketplace. His disciples recalled the words of the scripture, Zeal for your house will consume you. At this, the Jews answered and said to him, what sign can you show us for doing this? Jesus answered and said to them, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. The Jews said, This temple has been under construction for 46 years, and you will raise it up in three days. But he was speaking about the temple of his body. Therefore, when he was raised from the dead, his disciples remembered that he had said this, and they came to believe the scripture and the word Jesus had spoken. <coughs> the Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us our bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Yes. Lord, we ask you to accept the sacrifice which is offered to you with complete heart and confession. Lord, wash away from my iniquity and cleanse me with all my sins and sinful inclinations. Pray, sisters and brothers. This sacrifice and the living sacrifice you and they offer may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice and the offense of the grace and glory of His name. 
Accept it, we pray, O Lord, the offerings made here, and grant that by it those who seek your favor may receive in, its, in this place the power of the sacraments and the answer to their prayers. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in your benevolence, Benevolence, you are pleased to do to dwell in this house of prayer, in order to perfect us as the temple of the Holy Spirit, supported by the perpetual help of your grace, and resplendent with the glory of life acceptable to you. Year by year, you sanctify the church, the bride of Christ, foreshadowed in visible buildings, so that Rejoicing as the mother of countless children, she may be given her place in your heavenly glory. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord of God, heaven and earth, glory, in the highest. Blessed is in the name of the Lord. O oh Lord, you are holy indeed, the founder of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was given up to death, a death Jesus most freely accepted. He took bread, giving you thanks. He broke it, gave to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for me for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <coughs> the mystery of faith. We proclaim our dead for the one and the resurrection. Until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Father, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray, by partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with the Francis, our Pope, Paul Mayor, our Bishop, <coughs> Estevas, Bishop Emeritus, 
all the clergy and leaders. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection, and all those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her beloved spouse, with Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have blessed you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As commanded by Jesus and formed by divine teaching, we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us those who trespass against us. We forgive those who trespass against us. But not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. From deliver us, O Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said his apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant to her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord always be with you. And with your spirit. Stop, us.